it is raining today, so uh, the two of us stayed home. Gina went out uh, to do some shopping and stuff, get some stuff for the house. I have stayed home, and I basically put up an easy up back here, and am, have started the water wheel. I found this awesome, really simple design on YouTube. I love YouTube. And uh, I'm going to go with it. I'll change a couple things. But uh, yesterday, before it got dark, I went and cut all my 2x6 uh, at 22 and a half degree angles. Um, and then I've got some 45 degree points on those 2x4s. And I've got my biscuit joiner out, nail gun, screw gun, glue, and biscuits, and root beer. And I'm going to put this thing together. Hopefully get both the sides together today. At least glued. So I don't know how fast it's going to dry though out here with this rain. But I'm going to try. Basically, to, to give you guys kind of an idea of what I did, I found a uh, pretty good video on YouTube on how to construct a, a simple design of a water wheel. And it's it was perfect for what we were looking for because we were trying to keep the cost down for the client. I didn't want to spend a lot of time. Um, ideally, it would be nice if it was a perfectly round wheel and it was all, you know, just even the inside was round, but I wanted to do it fast, so we banged this out. Uh, I did tweak a few things from the, the video that I saw. But basically, it's made with 2x4, 2x6, and the center is a 2x12. The, um, uh, the inside here is just basically some 45 degree mitered points. Um, all these pieces on the outside and on the inside are cut at a 22 and a half degree angle. Um, this center block here is basically just some 2x6 that I, that I uh, screwed together. But uh, the inside here is a one inch uh, hole where the axle is going to go through. And uh, I just got done routing, rounding over the edges and I'm hoping that I can get this thing set up to where um, I can install the little water fins and then we'll test this and see if it, if it even rolls because it's heavy. Alright everybody, I have this thing temporarily set up. Uh, so I can test the balance of it. It is a little heavier on one side, so I am playing with uh, weights and stuff. You'll see that I've taped a couple pieces of steel in here to uh, see if that's the issue. <clears throat> I don't want to get too carried away with that though until I uh, get these done. And basically I've taken some fence boards, you know how I like my fence boards in this project, and uh, I've cut 22 degree angles on one side. And I'm going to eventually cut these down shorter, but I think I'm going to do two per side. I'm working on basically making a couple hubs for the water wheel. I'm just trying to finish this thing up. Um, I also cut all of my paddles um, that are going to be going. It's got a 22 and a half uh, degree cut, and uh, I'm going to put those inside today. Um, this uh, this I just used a hole saw cut, uh, it's like a four inch hole saw, and then I did, drilled it one inch, and I'm going to 
basically I'm going to drill a hole through this pipe and uh, make a little groove for it to fit, fit inside there and then I'll just slide this over it, glue this into place and screw it um, and it should be should work pretty good. I mean they do make shaft collars I could buy but I just don't feel like going to the store and buying one. I got this other one unstuck. I don't know if you guys, I hate it when that happens. This thing's all jammed in there so I'm gonna go pry this off. <music>